Today, the Beber family home in Broken Arrow caught fire to the point it almost eliminated the second floor. You'll remember back in 2015, police say the Beber brothers, Robert and Michael, murdered five of their family members inside that home. Two Works for you reporter Ashley Holt was on the scene and tells us what neighbors say happened this morning. The flames got quite high and um, they came toward our house. And that's always scary. Pat McGahey saw it happen. The house she's lived next to for almost a year, drawing lots of attention and negativity, now destroyed. We have a big shed in the back, and the police asked if we had anything explosive in there because it was coming this way. The Broken Arrow Fire Department says it got the call around 3.30 a.m. When crews arrived, the house was engulfed in flames. It took an hour for them to get it under control. The next door neighbor tells me she saw a car pull up in the driveway around 1.30 and then a truck pull up behind it a short time after. When they both left, that's when she saw smoke. Actually, it makes me very sad that it's gone down like this. I would rather see it actually torn down. Just last month, the city of Broken Arrow announced plans to do just that. The city councilor raising money to purchase the home so the city could knock it down and build a memorial park. Maybe this will help go toward the finance of it because the house definitely isn't as expensive as it was. McGahey says she's still hopeful and excited for the park. The city saying it's too early to tell what effect the fire in the house some deemed evil on social media will have on its plans. It's amazing that people still come by, people have so, so much interest in it. But as far as living right next to the house, it doesn't bother me a bit. I believe that uh, it's what you make of it. From Broken Arrow, Ashley Holt, two works for you. The Broken Arrow Fire Department says the cause of the fire is under investigation, but confirmed no one was hurt. And though it's a high-profile case, it won't treat its investigation any different than would any other house fire.